Hello everyone, my name is Angelif and welcome to a new video of Identity 5. I'm sorry, I'm very, very sorry about missing out this fast, uh, fast, past few days, but I am here back now after a few issues. But uh, yeah, we are back and ready to go with this. So I just got the Violinist skin. Uh, we're going to be watching a game that I rec not recorded, but I played actually today on, um, on Ranked. So yeah. Uh, we are actually going to see the uh, the showroom. Um, I might say I am not a big fan of this skin because it actually doesn't have many um, many effects on it. Like for example, it only has these like sparkles on it that I don't really like it. But to be honest, I like the showroom a lot because it shows a ton of life on the violinist compared to the other skins. Like for example. Uroboros being one of the most coolest skins on um, <laughs> on violinist, of course Inferno Sonata, but unfortunately I don't have that, or Crescent Knight even, but I think on Bridal Romance I, it's a logic path skin that, it's, that it doesn't really stand out um, from other skins to be honest, like for example, one of the most, uh, one of the most beloved skins that I have here on the logic path it's the one for Axe Boy, which is the Prince on Ice. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, where are you? Well, we have other skins, of course, like for example, Nutcracker from Breaking Wheel. Or... Mm, if I get to find the other ones... Ah, Mr. Eggshell, of course. That looks very uh, unique for others. Explanet. And other skins for Society, Background Tree. Like, all of these skins are... Look, look nice, but for violinists, I think they lacked a lot. But anyways, it's still a free skin, and we always like that. So yeah, let's get into the match. Okay, so the fir this match is composed by a forward novelist, professor, and postman. Uh, we are going to go first for the professor that is on the uh, on the shack. We are actually going to be able to see that he's actually there because he uh, placed a uh, scale in there. So we throw here the note, knowing that he got buffed and he's not very uh, long, but he's <laughs> unfortunately we do not land that. So here, actually, the professor uh, kites me really good. He actually get a few pallet stones on me, which is really nice. But he commits uh, a mistake. This one. He stuns me first with his shell and afterwards with the pallet, which means that triggers my desperate fight. For the people who doesn't know, uh, desperate fight uh, triggers when you get pallet, st pallet stunned or stunned, anyways, um, two times or more. Which basically, the more you stun the hunter, the, more, the less time it will be stunned the hunter. So yeah, basically, what I would recommend you to do if you're a professor, wait first for your um, for your shell to do the stun, and then afterwards you stun with the pallet. Uh, so you can make the hunter lose as much as much time as possible. Here we down the uh, Lucino with the note, which was a pretty easy note here because you can take advantage of the uh, close spaces that he cannot dodge anyways. So yeah, uh, what I was able to do here uh, so far, it's nothing out of the out of the ordinary. Uh, we're actually on rank it. We are right now at uh, Orc number five. So yeah, here we actually see and hear that someone is nearby, which is the forward. This forward <laughs> actually commits very uh, funny stuff, you will be seeing right now. He's actually going for the rescue, he has a lot of intentions to actually stun me. As you can see, I'm actually keeping an eye on him, provoking that the uh, Gina commits, commits the same thing. Stun me first with the shell, and here it is. <laughs> the forward crashes behind me on the, on the box, he's actually very funny. And he wants to stun me again, and I know that he wants to do that. Yeah, use excitement, and I down him. Uh, Postman tried to do the same thing with the pallet, but none of them were able to. I knew that it was the, what was coming, so yeah, that was a big outplay for them. I know that the Postman is already healing the forward, so I just go after them and force him to do the re rescue. We are already full, full uh, presence, so basically they know that I am I'm, I am able to do the sweep. So uh, they uh, the Postman is actually good to avoid it, at least for the first half of the match. <laughs> and I know here that I, I can actually do something very funny. I provoked the best double down ever, so <laughs> yeah, is this actually this match was really cool regarding on how much I do not like the skin. <laughs> but I liked it. I liked it. It was very fun.
Yeah. He puts a scale, even though I think he's already there, doesn't he? I think so. So yeah, mm, right now, if I don't badly remember, the other survivors are actually he healing each other. They know where the postman is, they are healing it forward, yeah. They are all on the big boat. Uh, so yeah, we're basically going to go uh, with the injured survivor, that the one that he's going there. Seems like he's actually scared of how <laughs> he throws the the dog at us. He will jump that no matter how, no matter what. So we we'll take advantage of that. I hear Tinnitus and, and I am actually worried that someone is actually nearby. And I am actually right, as you can see. Therefore, what is behind that pallet? And he actually is scared to stun me now, <laughs> but not really. You will see what he does later. Um. Well, let's see. I actually, we have to to still, so that means that there's two or more survivors near to us, and that's right, because we have the forward and the novelist near to us. So we, I see that the novelist is going to rescue. We're going to do the sweep if possible. He, th he thinks that they actually avoided. He actually killed himself there. There's one, and there's two. And the forward will do something funny when he rescues the postman. He will rescue the postman. I will hit him. And he doesn't know that I have my excitement ready, so basically he fastened my hit. And even the postman is like, well, this is a team that I that I choose to get. But this is not over yet, surprisingly. He actually tries to avoid it. Unsuccessfully, of course. But <laughs> uh, this is not over, because we know that these uh, two other guys have an uh, exit path. So they are going to wake up anytime soon. The novelist actually managed to wake up. I'm, he tried to heal the forward as well but uh, unsuccessfully too. Even though he's already healing himself too, uh, the novelist still has it. I sniped him <laughs> with the melon, so that's really nice. That was a very satisfactory, to be honest. He manages to rescue the uh, bossman. I still check on him uh, that he will be able to stun me again, even though he won't do it because he knows that I am a chicken on, chicken on him. Uh, because after what we did to him, he's actually very scared of us, <laughs> so... Yeah, and this is actually a good TV thing from Excitement, that he has a very low cooldown time. One of the most lowest ones. He actually tries to do the same here, try to avoid it, but unsuccessfully he doesn't. Uh, yeah. And there's the forward again, trying to stun us, but he won't do much. He actually misses the flywheel effect, and then he will miss the, <laughs> the dodgeball. So yeah, uh, basically, um... That was the, ma the first match that I got with the Violinist. Uh, I think it it's a very mess skin, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe with the, with the right accessory, it actually looks cool. I mean, it's flashy. I get it. And you can actually see that the feathers on his hat have physics. But eh, it's not a skin that I won't be using much. I actually rather Euroboros or uh, Crescent Knight. Because, I'm not, I don't know. I think this man covers a lot of screen. Eh, maybe I will use it more than more than often because it's not really, not really that bad. But anyways, uh, this is going to be the match for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next bike. <laughs> on the next bike, excuse me. <laughs> on the next one. Bye bye.